Generally, I work at about a thousand feet or so, and uh, uh, sometimes I work a wee bit lower, but generally not, and sometimes I work higher, and sometimes quite a bit higher. And depending on the altitude and the subject matter, the composition can be completely different. Two years ago, we had the oh, big, big winter with all the massive amounts of snow. Remember when the snow, the snow banks were everywhere? Mm -hmm. And things didn't thaw until mid-April. So this is in mid-April. Usually this stuff is gone by, you know, the mm -hmm. end of March. And, uh, and it, the unique thing about it is that it was breaking up in, in these longitudinal sequences that were more or less parallel to the shoreline. And ice does different things in different years, depending on the temperature, depending on God knows what. And, uh, but just to have a break up in these essentially symmetric patterns. And, uh, and so what I did is I sort of snap trots rapidly in sequence and, uh, and in that, I mean, created the illusion of a, of a sequence, of a, you know, of a time lapse. When spring comes, I try to get in the air as much as I can um, because there's so much happening in the transition. This happens at all the, tr the, the transitional times of the season. So in the fall, when we get the leaves, coming off in particular, uh, and the bright orange is nice too, but once the leaves are off and there's only a little bit left or what, that often makes for really neat photography. And the resulting sort of landscape that's left seems kind of foreign because there's only a small period of time until the snow flies. And, and uh, yeah, there's a richness there tied in with the fact that the sun is really low that gives you this amazing light. Suggested to me that what it is is that there's an algae bloom happening here, and probably this water is loaded with nitrogens from fertilizers and what have you. So it's sort of hyper, hyper um, nutrient rich, baking under a summer sun for the full year, and the algae that's in it just starts to bloom and just turn this bright, yeah. bright, bright sort of pinky color. And now, and then sometimes you know the 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 reality, if you will, is you know, like I, I mean, what wit here put a yellow boom onto it, and then to really add accent, put these turquoise barrels on it. I mean, 